Hey everyone, in this four minute videos for developers, we're going to talk about Apigee custom policy extensions. In this video, we're going to see how JavaScript policy works. Prerequisites for this video, you need the uh, Apigee Edge account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic concepts of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier four minute videos. Before we see how exactly custom policies works, very important note, you should not be using custom policies if same problem can be solved using out of the box policies. Because the reason is, once you write the custom policy, it's your own code and the performance and optimization of the code cannot be guaranteed. So make sure our statement holds true and remember this point whenever you create a custom policy. Let's see an example why exactly you need a custom policy like JavaScript policy in Apache Edge. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and the target server where you can create an API proxy and attach policies in the request or response flow. There are 30 plus out of the box policies and each policy does a ton of things. For example, using service caller policy, you can make an API call to the external target system. Using a send message policy, you can able to create custom variables. Using these policies, you can able to modify the request that will be sent to the target server as well as similarly in the response also, you can use these policies and modify the API behavior. Sometimes you might need to write your own custom logic to modify the API behavior. You can able to do that using JavaScript policy. You can attach the JavaScript policy in the request as well as the response in the proxy endpoint or the target endpoint and modify the API behavior. Let's see various use cases of JavaScript policy and how exactly it works and how we can actually talk to the API runtime and retrieve the variables in JavaScript policy. Click on API proxies and then click on plus proxy to create a new proxy. Choose reverse proxy and click on next. So I'm gonna choose the proxy name as uh, custom policy demo one. I'm gonna name the proxy base path as slash v1 slash cp icon mock and use the existing endpoint as http bin.org slash get. Click on next, choose authorization as pass through, choose default, build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, let's navigate to API proxy screen. Now this is my proxy endpoint. As you can see, it's just a simple mock uh, uh, response uh, API. Let's say if I'm sending uh, two query parameters, A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20. And you can see the response in the arguments, the request that you sent. Let's say the client is sending A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20, but the target expects a total of A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20. Let's see how we can use JavaScript policy to write a custom logic in the policy and modify the API behavior. To do that, navigate to develop screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a JavaScript policy to the proxy endpoint preflow. Click on plus step, click on uh, JavaScript. So I'm gonna name my JavaScript policy as JS uh, total variable and then click on add. So it is going to create a JavaScript file under the scripts. So here we are going to write our custom JavaScript. So you can able to retrieve the values of the flow variables and also set new flow variables using JavaScript and also you can write the custom code which will modify the API behavior. So I'm gonna write a simple JavaScript code where a is equal to context.get variable. I'm gonna get the variable from the query parameter. So it will be request.query param.a. Similarly, get the b where b is equal to query param b and then I'm going to create a new variable where total is equal to parse int convert into int a plus parse int b and then create a new apg flow variable context dot uh, set variable the variable name let's say request dot query param dot c is equal to total so what we've done is we just simple arithmetic operations in javascript policy and we are modifying the api by setting a new query parameter let's see it in action let's save the api proxy uh, click on trace to see it in action start trace session and we are going to make an a same api call a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. there you go since we sent a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 now we got c is equal to 30 which was done by javascript policy you can also see it in the trace. As you can see, JavaScript policy set the query param C, which is total of 10 and 20. Thank you for watching this video and uh, subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues.